Now, polls show that David Cameron won last night's election debate and his Conservative Party has said that it would get rid of the FSA and give more power to the Bank of England. My next guest says that that could be a mistake. He is former Deputy Governor of the Bank of England, Sir John Geeve. First of all, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm sure that you watched last night's debate on the economy. Uh, did you think that David Cameron won as far as you're concerned? Well, I thought all three, all people, all three people kept their end up. Mm. Um, he had a more distinct position, I think, than the other two mm. on a number of issues. He, he seemed to have a more uh, a, a clearer uh, opinion to put forward. Mm. And I mean, I suppose a lot of people say actually there isn't an awful lot between them on the economy. Of course, David Cameron's big point is that he would cut the deficit on day one. He would have an emergency budget, and, and that's the first thing that he would do. Do you think that that's the right approach? Well, I think we do need another budget, and the fears in the markets around sovereign debt mean that we need a tough budget quite soon after the election, whoever wins. Um, the exact details of how much this year or the year after uh, are a secondary issue, it seems to me. Because of what's happened in Greece and, and the dangers of contagion, do you think that any indecision in the UK, for example, if there is a hung parliament or if you were to get a weak, um, a weak minority government, is that going to affect the markets, who, the markets that are already spooked over what's happening uh, in Greece and Portugal? Well, I think um, the markets have not been so spooked over the UK because they mm -hmm. think we've got time to put mm -hmm. our position right and we've got the freedom of manoeuvre on the currency and so on to Indeed. do so. But they will be looking for clear evidence that we've got a plan, a credible plan with mm -hmm. detail to it, not too, uh, so not, to, not too long after the election. Mm -hmm. So if we don't produce a plan, then I think we will be putting ourselves at risk. Do you think the AAA rating would be at risk? Uh, do you think that the IMF could be called in, as Ken Clark said? Well, I, I think we will put it right. I think we've been in worse positions before. We haven't defaulted then. We're not going to default now. But uh, there are some painful decisions to be taken. Mm. We, we heard uh, what Mervyn King said. I know he hasn't confirmed it. It may well have just been a throwaway comment that whoever gets into office, uh, it's effectively a poison chalice. The cuts they're going to have to make will be so dramatic and austere that they won't get elected again for a generation. It is going to be tough, though. Whoever comes in, these spending cuts that haven't been outlined clearly so far are going to be painful. Yes, I think that's right. I mean, what's very unusual in this election is all the parties are promising pain, but there's a sort of tacit agreement not to spell out mm. exactly what that will mean. Mm. And I don't think most people in most public services realise how tough it's going to be. Now, Gordon Brown has said that uh, any kind of deficit cut so early this summer, any, whatever it is, would put the uh, economy and the fragile recovery at risk. Do you think that that's a fair point? Well, I, we've yet to see how this all sp spells out. But I think if you're trying to make cuts in year, mm -hmm. in the current year, almost inevitably most of those will come from cutting capital and deferring projects and spend mm -hmm. and recruitment. Um, and I don't think they'll be hugely significant. Um, what's much more important than what happens this year is what happens in the two or three years after that mm. and whether there's real credible measures which will reduce the deficit over that period. Now, one way, of course, to reduce the deficit would be to sell uh, the government's stakes in, uh, in RBS and, and Lloyd's Woods. Is that likely to happen, do you think? Well, I think, it, I, think it, it, I hope it will happen in the course of the three years, but I think... Mm. If it was uh, done too early, is that um, going to be a problem? No, I, I think the government's got to get the best possible deal. Mm. And at the moment, those share prices are still being held down by uncertainty over the election, by uncertainty over the recovery of the economy, by uncertainty about bank regulation, by uncertainty about bank taxes. I think it would be odd to, uh, to sell until some of those are clarified. Okay, thank you very much indeed for joining us today.